Hello and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about your board games. So how do you feel about summoning creatures, rolling dice, dueling against your friends, and supporting Irish board game designers? Well if so, here's five things I think you need to know about dice summoners. Dice Summoners from Decking Awesome Games is a card game for two players in which you summon mythical creatures to duel against your opponent. The winner is the first person to reduce her adversary's life to zero. Mechanically speaking, this game is all about dice management and tableau building. You'll start the game with three creatures and three spells in play, and your spells will allow you to summon higher level creatures and acquire higher level spells. Your dice pool comes from the beasts you have in play, and you'll roll these at the start of the round, and depending on what symbols you get, that'll determine what you'll be able to activate in your tableau. Now the problem of course is that you can only have six creatures and six spells in play, but don't worry because oftentimes to level up your creatures you'll have to sacrifice something in the meantime. The creatures and spells all come with their own abilities, such as attacking, defending, healing, etc. Um, but of course you'll only be able to use these abilities if you roll the right symbols on your dice. As a whole, this game wants, to, wants you to focus on building a really solid tableau with which to take out your opponent. Similar games to Dice Summoners. I think there are quite a few in this category that this game reminds me of, but the one I'm going to choose is Splendor, because they both really have in common this idea of you buy the thing to get the thing, to buy the thing to get the thing, to buy the thing to get the thing. Setup is straightforward as you simply lay out the cards for purchase and set up your own starting tableau. The rulebook for this is incredibly clear and concise and it takes about 25 minutes for two of us to play, but this greatly depends on the game state. Now, because you don't play with everything in the box and that each level of summons has a variety of beasts with which you can choose from, it means the game is varied every time you play. Aesthetics are of course a personal thing, but I'm not a fan of what they've done here in Dice Summoners. The artwork seems odd, pasted on, and the backgrounds just are entirely random colours. Now, the component quality is another issue because on the one hand you get these really amazing dice, but on the other hand the quality of the cards themselves is really subpar. They're thin, they're gritty, and they genuinely made it difficult for me to play the game. On a whole you'd have to sleeve the cards to play this. So what's so special about Dice Summoners? I think it has to be the way you use the dice on your tableau. Not only that, you're able to set aside two dice from your pool from this turn to use for next turn, and I think that makes for some interesting choices. Okay, so how do I really feel about dice summoners? Firstly, the negatives. I think it's kind of problematic that there's absolutely no way to mitigate your dice rolls here. You really are stuck with the random results. Now, I understand that you could simply roll more dice so you'd have a better chance of seeing the symbols you want, but this is in part a tableau builder and it's a bit disconcerting that there was no reliable way to activate the things you bought and put in your tableau. Now, my second problem is the fact that if you fall behind in this game, it becomes almost unwinnable. So I had a situation where my opponent managed to roll the two symbols he needed to upgrade his creatures for two turns and I didn't roll anything like it, which gave him access to not only better creatures, but to more dice. So he was able to steamroller his way to victory, always being ahead of me. Now, the game is quick enough that I probably should have cut my losses and maybe we could have started afresh, but the, it just wasn't fun sitting there feeling so hopeless and powerless um, and knowing that all of my actions really meant absolutely nothing because there was no way I could catch him. The positives. The dice mechanic here is genuinely an interesting one and one that you have to keep in mind while building your tableau to ensure that you've got the right cards and symbols for what's actually on your dice. Secondly, this game definitely has a Splendor vibe, and coupling that with combat I think is a really cool and interesting combination. Do I think you should have dice summoners in your collection? Well, if you can move beyond the aesthetic issues, you'll find a combat-driven dice-chucking tableau builder. And if that sounds like something you might enjoy, you can totally go check it out. I'll add a link to the description below. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. If you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Dice Summoners, why not leave them in the comments below? If you'd like to do something nice, why not like or subscribe to the channel or tell a friend I exist, that would be kind of great. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions and of course perusing my collection. Take care.